All right, here we go. We're gonna a rewatch phase versus optic. Six star. All right, P two's here. They want to be back here. All right, Kenny's playing back. These guys spawn out here. Big kill by Ken. Now I'm rewatching these streams because the Sunday matches. Because I have a kid. Obviously, we don't cast on Sunday, so I fear it's a good idea to rewatch matches. Oh, Shotzi spawns out there for a sec. That's a free pinch. Okay, hold on. I need to back that up. Okay, so Shotzi spawns out here. You have a free pinch. Then what happens? BZ kills one. They trade. And then you just have close spawns. Yeah. I just go through the front. Oh, you'll see. Okay. All right. Preds holding the back for next. Phase is just going to try to push through poolside. Okay. No, actually, you're not going front. All right. So all pressure is on Pred and Shotzi right now. Big first kill in the back. That's two kills in the back. And they got good spawns. So that's just all individual gunfights right there. And then Pred just runs right back. Who gets spawns, though? Wait, so what just happened? Hold on, hold on. So you get the two first kills. And then what happens after that? You get Kenny, you get Pred. Pred spawns mid here due to Celium. Celium being here. So he's going to spawn out here. They're blocking the back in the back here is phase. And then how does this collapse? Does he just repinch this Pred? Nobody picked that up. And then he's going to block the back. No, he won't. Okay. It's like nobody from phase picked that up. Optic spawns P1 after a wipe. No, it's still here. We'll go back one more. So you have this setup. All right, so two dead. The reason they spawn P1 is because of number eight, Cell. Because Cell blocks front. But then no one from phase turns and looks mid. That's why he spawns mid-map. Front spawns blocked, back spawns blocked. All right, so yeah, back spawns again. They just push on through using their numbers. Big kill for Shotzi. That's just leaving up a lot of room. All right, does he spawn in the back here, Kenny? Okay, he does. So that's before that pops. That's why he spawns there. Remember, the game's always trying to spawn you closest to the hill if it's open. But if it's one second left, you don't want to spawn there. But honestly, it works out. Now he can just cut off mid. It's just messy. Honestly, it's not like a bad job by FaZe. They made it pretty messy. Just with front spawns. But honestly, like... What, the one spawns here and the one spawns here, it's pretty equal. So you can kind of just flood. It's pretty 50-50. Alright, now this is the troll. I wouldn't play a map with water against Shotzi on it. <laughs> I just veto it. Okay, so you have like double pinches here. Both teams are pinching each other. Good four dead. Optic is going to try to go through mid. Good rotation. This is where you want face spawning. I mean, what is it with Sim versus this green wall squad this year? He has been undeniable. Abizi, 10 and 12, looking to try to find a way to contest. Clean shot towards Kenny, but the response is better. Still, tie game. Cell is looking for contact. Able to find Kenny with the Sim text. Doesn't expect the second. Though. We're just trading, baby. We're trading. Stopped members remaining. He's going to go over towards the DJ booth. Spin up a couple of tracks and does well. We're trading, baby. This guy's real good. My hell diver's hard carry. Bro, this entire map so far has been very scrappy. Okay, so you get the back spawns if you're optic. 
Can they put some yeah, Pred pushed out. Here at the palm tree. Abizi tries to make it 20 and it's a clean 25 so far. So far. Honestly, you kind of take front spawns now if you're optic. If you can hold a bit of this time for P3. Yeah, I think you kind of take this. It's not the worst thing in the world. I think P3's probably going to be the money hill. This is good pressure. You still have face spawning all the way in the back. Sims taking a long round first. This is a lot of space, too. A lot of space to play with before the hill pops. Big first kill. Yeah, FaZe isn't even past the 50-yard line yet. Yeah, they just opt to go forward. This could work right now. You have two players kind of playing mid-alley, but Pred just rotates in. So you're just contesting balcony. That works. Yeah, now you're spawning all the way out P2. So this is probably where you get a big chunk of time, right? Now, this is good. You can get out early. You can get out early. The way Shotzi's going. This is really good. FaZe are still putting a lot of pressure. Look how late they are right here. He's already through. That's 20, 25 seconds left. He's already gone. Nah, he's probably going to get hunted. Yeah, he's going to get hunted. That's a good find by FaZe. Dashy those on a six. You got the cruise. Good setup here for FaZe. A lot, not a lot of pressure, but I think you're going to use the cruise. Yep, there we go. So what, P3, that was massive. That, that was pretty much a full 60. That's good recovery by FaZe, but... Oh, Pred just makes the play. He's just going to keep this messy. That was really good recovery from FaZe after the streak. I got to see that again, though. Do, do they just get a lucky spawn, or is it because he they were pushing from the front? Hold on. One sec. So you get the first kill, you get the one kill back here as well. I'm assuming it's because these guys out front. Yeah, I guess you'd get a little unlucky there, maybe if you're optic. But I guess that was the only spawn open. Was this one in the back? It's still a new map, so everybody's learning. But it kind of created like a free pinch for them after the cruise. All right, so this is like a classic when you have like a hill like on a line like this. Like classic, you just pinch from both ways because if you control both, si both sides, they'll spawn like this area instead of one of the sides. But they die, so. Now you're going to see both teams are spawning on the side. If you're able to control both of those X's, what happens is you'll spawn out like down here. It's just really hard to do, and this hill is massive. What's up, Husky? All right, you still have equal spawns. All right, now watch what happens with number three. So, Pred gets pushed up. They'll probably still spawn here, but... Yeah, it's a lot of room. Yeah, the hill's just so big. I don't know if you can work that, like... One of the old Cod Hills. That's a really good hold by Optic, though. So, what, P3 and P5 for them throughout this second set? Yeah, five in a row. kills and optic texas are finding everyone in the feed yeah absolutely perfectly set up over the top of this bar just don't scam it you should walk away with map one one i think is probably what the comm should be you have spawns here if you're phase coming up right when they're needed most uh can he not able to find the double and hold on a second We've got a rotation likely underway here as Optic is trying to play the long route through pool. And this time it's Oh, that's a really good play by by Shotzi. He just leaves this guy. That's a good play here. Let's watch that again. Alright, so FaZe get this break. Pred's already starting to go low. Same with Shotzi. So he starts shooting at Simp and just leaves him for Pred. Now watch number five. Number five is trying to go help him out here. And he just goes. He just flies on through. Now this should flip spawns as well. Yeah, see, well, it doesn't flip, but it gets him spawning far away. I wonder why that doesn't flip there. Maybe I don't know, but that's just trust your teammate. Like, screw it. I'm going. All right, so good hard point there for Optic. All right, so here, here. I mean, this is all just back. First set, it, it was just pretty much tie game. But it's just P3, yeah. I mean, you get no points from P2 to P3. Opti gets a full hill. 
Bays do a really good job. And then, yeah, look at this. So 134, 134, 174, 174. Then 207, 2. Well, that doesn't really count. But yeah, I mean, P3 and P5 there for optics. That was pretty much the map. Just two really clean holds. All right, into the search. Into the search. Into the search. In two months, but that's a beautiful picture of a cat. A beautiful right picture now. of a cat, dude. A Meow. Be the team early on the attacking side. No trophy systems to work with, but look at how aggressive Optic are. More specifically, Shotzi. Boy, Shotzi just runs. And this should be a freebie for sure. Cell's going to be completely caught off guard by this. It's just a question of can Simp provide the trade in time. And all oh, the trigger discipline is perfect. Simp tries Almost lost him there. Inevitable. Two for Shotzi. And with that, the round has just completely gone awry for Atlanta. Man, that one's done and dusted. First 15 seconds into the round, he's already bottom pit working behind. I mean, I assume that's just knowing their break. Like, if you know a BZ likes to take this bottom blue route, and you kind of wait down here, look, he's just going. You don't even see this cross. He doesn't see the cross. He's fast enough. It almost looks like he spots him for like a second, but he just goes. Yeah, maybe he gets stunned bottom blue. Yeah, he might get stunned bottom blue, Trent. To a smoke, giving him a little bit of extra cover, selling him backside windows can really not do much here. And maybe you look to Draza, he may have to like pop up and find somebody. Back yeah, Draza's top propane. Going and Shotzi All right, this guy, yeah, he's just like, I'm out. <laughs> Another 4v2 instantly on the back of Shotzi. Left up the sip and draw the sip is able to take down one, but now it's draws a left in the one v three. Yeah, it's just two shots rounds. All right, man, we'll see if he keeps doing this. Wow, it looks like a slower. They have two trophies down, so it doesn't get stunned there. That doesn't help. All right, you have like a three stack, two stack down low. All right, so we had a 2v4. Kenny gets traded. Now it's a 2v2. Maybe a little bit of overheating here, though, from Optic. Getting caught just a touch and what was a 4v2. Now down to the 2v2. Collects, and now it's just on to Shotzi for the 1v2 situation. Good read onto a BZ, but it's mutual. And wow, the shots are spawned. I mean, this is like, to me, I'm an old school guy. I think when you have numbers in a round like that, like, just play a retake. So what, you get a trade. Because Kenny's shooting right, right here. Selium then gets it. And look, they all get really active. Where does... Who was that? Pred, where does he come from? Where What is Pred doing right here? Where does Pred go? Is Pred up top just jumps and he just flies. So he tries to flank propane. He jumps from here, tries to flank this, and then gets caught. It's just one by one challenges, all of them. That's a rough one. That is not accuracy. That's a beasy. Mm. I don't know about that one. I'm taking 3v2. We know where they're both at. I'm camping a corner, and I'm waiting for them to plant the bomb. All right, so it doesn't go. He goes back underground. That's what I'm saying, Jay. Thought he was dead to rights in the preamp of Selian, but he somehow, some way, is able to walk away with at least one kill. Keeps his team in the man advantage until Draz is able to take down Pred. So a 2v2 with 45 seconds left. Optic have full B street control. You might just want to go for this bomb plant. Can he push back? Is your bomb carrier dash? You also tag. So information here from Atlanta. Now they know where, where you both are. Attackers are. Does Dashie get a look down to the left on Draza running up and under? 1v1. Not quite enough to keep his teammates safe. So this would give him a 1v2. A BZ. Oh, he's read it so darn well with the oh. pistol. Wow. So what happens early in this round? So what? You get this insane play, which I don't necessarily love plays like these because he's all by himself, but he already won them two rounds. So it's one of those, this is Shotzi. He's just going to do his thing at times. You get this. Where does Kenny get a kill? It must have been B Street on a B. And then you just get aggressive through, through helipad. It's just weird because you have so much pressure this way with Shotzi. And then everyone else was kind of over here, and they kind of wrapped this way. Oh, it's just really late. I mean, they still win the round, so it doesn't matter. I was just curious how it all developed. Oh, so Kenny saves him. That's how. Kenny, Kenny, Kenny gets a shot in it in Cell. The Cell wide piece it. Yo, Marthes for the 40? Yeah, check it out, dude. Okay, so this time he catches him. This is what we were talking about. All right, so BZ just 
Oh, uh, yeah, just hits it this time. He throws a stun, which is a little different, but he just spots him. And I'm surprised Shotzi, again, he's doing what he wants, but it's kind of we did it already. Maybe not do it again, but at times you just live and die by it. That's good teamwork. That's just baiting him out. A BZ hits under. A BZ with the second. Pred left in a 1v3. And he's stuck at the moment. Oh, decent rewrap back over the top of the ladder, though. Atlanta may have been convinced that he dropped down into the pit. Yes, Cell's still looking down on one. This is just like, all right, we're not going to go for the plan. We have time. We're just going to wait. Until he isn't. Cell able to track him on the cross back over towards green, and there's no way. That's just don't do anything. Offense once again. Lots of nades over towards that B alley. This time, though, look at this. Atlanta heavy stack. Whoa, what do we got going on here, dude? We're just laying on our bellies together. All three of us. Look at us. Yep. That's just all info. That's just all info. We have three people here. This propane's open, and he just takes it. That's just taking space away. Yeah, that's just a really good read. That, that's simply like... They don't get the kill on a Shotzi. So he just runs up to propane. Now they could back all. They could just sit down there, or they could back all the way up to their base. But at that point, you're pretty much giving a map control. Let's go in again. Yeah, small hesitation. He can use this as a quick pinch, and this is going to work out really nicely. This draws is completely caught off towards the elevators. No chance for a trade as of yet, and then Pred pops up through the jump window to find a second. Good response, though, from Atlanta. They're able to collect at least a couple just to make sure this thing gets back to a 2v2. Bomb is also in a very collectible spot, so everything gets reset. Dude, is this another, like, 2v4 pretty much? 2v3? Now Stashy left in the 1v2. He was at least able to spot Selium, but... All right, we're just waiting again. Don't want to get caught on the bomb too much time. But Atlanta phase again in a situation where they are playing the kill. They are waiting till the final moment before they decide to work that objective, and this might work out perfectly for Dashy because that time is starting to tick. I gotta see what Pred does again. Once I see what happens here. Because if they get this planted and they get away, it's a tough retake to go through. But there's the ankle. Nice shots from Dashy. One v one with Selium for a shot. So good with the follow up. I think that's just an ego, Chow. I think he can just run away. He knows bombs down. I think he just run there. I think he just backs back away there. I mean, maybe he's worried about his stairs. Okay, but what happens? So you switch this up. Again, a BZ, I don't know if he just doesn't get a spawn or what. So Shotzi's gone. Okay, that's just a different hit. They're, they're going through Bidom. What does Pred do here? Because you're kind of just waiting on, on Shotzi. Shotzi's making a play. He finds one. Red gets one. So I guess he finds one, then gets traded. Yeah, I mean, I don't really know what you do there. Because if you look at the map, right, all you can really, I guess, do is get Kenny to heli faster or Dashy to heli faster. Because, like, they, these two are so far back. This is just a trade onto on a Pred, and then a VZ gets the second one right here uh, on the Shotzi. Shotzi's just stuck. As soon as Shotzi gets a kill, he knows he's screwed, just depending on timings. Like, the only way to really help Shotzi is to get someone helipad a lot faster. Like, it's the only way. Because then you're just in a 2v2. So, what, 4-3? Oh, right, you don't have the underground setup. It's more standard here from FaZe on B. At B Street. Abizzi's watching B Dom. Nobody's underground right now. It's the only thing. Nobody for FaZe is watching underground. So, that's pretty much wide open. Abizzi does rotate back. Doesn't see the doors open. He's able to find a BZ through low pit. Charles is able to take down Dashy instantly into a 2v2, but simply. It's just this map as well, where you just probably take a lot more fights than you do on other maps. 45 seconds left. It's a 2v2. Both teams on complete opposite sides of the map. Yeah, this is a really tough retake, though, at the moment for Atlanta trying to contest this B site with Simp getting out of there and draws it down low with an AR. Shotzi's going to take a little bit of extra time just to clear. Yeah, I mean, Optic's just very spread. Hasn't just waiting on Shotzi pretty much. There are players on the offensive side of the map that could make themselves available to at least being seen. 
And how about this? Have Optic gotten to read that Atlanta have played to the offensive side? Okay, now we're on number five, right? Draza. Draza's gonna wrap all the way through. And the biggest thing is if Kenny can get off of the site just in time. No, he cannot. <clears throat> Can he plant? Probably can't plant. Taken down before that bomb even gets planted. So Jaza, you don't have to do anything. Let's just sit comfortable in this corner. Oh my Shotsy's God. Not gonna have enough time to work that bomb plant. Where did where did Shotzi go when he starts planting? He like pushed through. Hmm. I mean, I don't really think there's any trade for him there. It's a tough tough spot, but it's tough to plant there. And they had no info. Like Faze just pretty much read the map really well. They figured they hit their underground, gave up A, and just rewrapped it. Oh yeah, I got four stack here. Shotzi's in underground. And he gets first blood. Wait for number six though. Abizi's the playmaker here. Mm, they kind of hunt him down. Keep in mind, Simp came out of spawns in MCW here. First couple of shots are decent. Pred wants the battle at two HP. Well, I think he saw him, right? Yeah, they both saw him. Both players back to full HP. Onus on to Simp to what he wants to do. Does he want to play for the kill, play for the plant? Smoke just kind of draws the attention of Pred. And in this moment, Simp gets all the way back side A and is going to try to commit to the plant. Does Pred bother to check this? Doesn't seem to. Also, not going to catch him on the exit, Jay. Things reset. Wow, that is crazy, dude. Simp's just out. And the bomb's down at A, so where you have so many different angles you can check it from if you are Simp. And he knows he's got a he knows he's got a rival. Yeah, getting out of there was insane. Yeah, I mean it's tough. It's tough if you're not a fan of how he played that. Like he's got a rival. I guess you just don't give up. A honestly, I think the problem in this round here for Optic, the problem in this round is a BZ gets a kill, right? Watch, you do a really good job stacking this. Someone's watching this cross. Number three is. Pred's watching this cross right here. This this is the problem. One and three. Kenny and Pred. I think you got to double chow this. Like, th this should be a 2v1 on the simp instead of a instead of a 1v1. If you spot a BZ crossing here, you have to isolate him. I, I just think that should be a little bit cleaner from Pred and Kenny. That that's how you that's how you win this round. And then the simp, I mean, yeah, it's just a lot of time he's going his way. But yeah, I think he just knows he has a rival. Pred, Pred's just hoping maybe Sip hits underground or something. Make sure we're holding down B Street. Force Optic Texas to beat you by putting that bomb down. Yep. I like the call. But what do they call to try to get the bomb down? I think it's the bigger question here. Pred Dashy playing over towards the blue side. A BZ looking to get aggressive. Steps forward. Now. Oh, that's just, just slips in. Pred gets caught looking the opposite direction. And first blood once again. First blood, he's out. He's, he's out. And they're gonna back off and just play this thing straight up for Yeah, she's looking over him. He just slips in between both of them. Try to get too overzealous. Potentially get picked off, but Simp is able to Simp's watching this angle onto this ladder right here from this spot, this jump up. Slowly working his way up through the B Street, but Dash and Kenny have their hands full with only 15 seconds to try to clutch this one up. Yeah, right here. This angle's crazy. To find first blood is only part of the problem. Their ability to play down a man is ridiculous. Yep. Dashy, maybe the barrel of the gun being seen. Yep, sure seems that way. BZ finds the kill very quickly as soon as that information was processed. And it's just on to Kenny, who gets some decent shots into one, but no chance. I mean, there was like two to three rounds there. I think Optic probably could have won. At least had numbers in a little bit cleaner. The map's always hard on high rise because it's so much give and take on the map. Underground, up top, all the different angles. You can just tell how much easier the game is when Shotzi hits routes makes plays versus when he doesn't like they have to find a good balance between him going for it and him maybe just doing it with someone else I, I don't know the answer I'm not a coach but it's like he controls so much of the game when he doesn't it just feels like there's not much of an answer all right we're in high so one one two for one the opening exchange Atlanta already off to the races on B of BZ all boy all right no trophies can easily get that Get any better. Uh, Fred's completely dead to rights. Shot 
see does at least find some sort of a response kind of cauterizes the wound for now but clock stays paused at 106 and the first tick of progress is looking pretty inevitable this is where if you're optic texas they know there's no trophy system to work with dude that gun fight is so difficult but bz's really good and he plays his life i love it yeah so tough thing always run one offense no matter their control, it's just trophies. You finally get map control, and then... Thank God they're facing Codchaster today. That tower is the best. Still gets flat out now you have trophies, you three stack this. And he sees this. That's just a great life out of a BZ. Yeah, Kenny working all the way through. All of Optic Texas more focused on maintaining the map control and Kenny with that reach pinch up through B Street at least allow his teammates to work out of their base. Yeah, really well done. Dashy also. Yeah, so the problem is is once you stack B, you're just kind of stuck here. Kenny just works all the way through. You're just kind of stuck in this area. You had nobody propane, so you just have no map control. What the situation calls for and Dashy continues to just lock things down over towards the A side of the map. So this is all about what can Shotzi do in terms of trying to get together a bit of a spawn trap. And he's made his way at least down to bottom pit of BZ. Also dealt with it at Shotzi on five. And this is perfect place for Mop. All right, can he get six? There's a cruise. You get the three takes if you're face, so you're probably happy with that. You probably want four or five. He's just beaming. And I think this is why he talked about he wants to play more high rise, or he said it's the, the, the map he has the most fun on. Yeah. Because you can't really track him. Build a convincing <laughs> AD. Shotzi and Dashi against FaZe have, on average, overall KDs of around 0.8. Yeah, control, it's worse than that. So to see Dashi at 6 and 3, Shotzi just having a world star map to this point, I'm sure is very refreshing to the green wall. And that's not stopping here. B progress already being made and no kills at all for FaZe. This is looking mighty fine for Optic. Yeah, they can't get out of the base. It's very, very difficult, especially when you AR. It's good map control. I wouldn't hate if he just got on the point, but they get it done. There is the chance if he's on this, the one player that was here, who I think maybe it was Pred, can maybe watch if they push on through and maybe they can just transition to A, but I mean, that was just as good as it gets for a break. Can't really. Yeah, they got the point, so can't be mad at it. It's just what Optic did uh, after giving up B. Phase just they do a really good job just fighting back. And he gets good timing. What are you? Wow, so actually they're down in lies. I thought they'd be ahead after the break, but Phase responds well. 16 and 9 for Shotzi. Deals with Kenny, but Shotzi's gonna sneak around the back again. I would imagine Sim picks this up off spawn. Here from phase, but they are not gonna have the luxury of staying back for too long because here comes Dave from Optic from the front. Clean kills. Wait, Pred gets this? Okay, now you're gonna keep him pushed up. He's got a stun still. He's still got a stun. How many do you have on this, though? You've only had one on it. You're up six sides, now five. Six. They're not going to get it. I, I think you got to put more on that. At least one more. Either Shotzi's got to back up, whoever's middle has to hit this. 12v6, we're cruising now. Maybe could have stayed on the zone a little bit longer, maybe finish it off himself, but instead played forward for the kill, and 
We're cruising. Okay, 10v4. At least we have info. We'll be at 25 seconds. One player on it, two players on it. Wait, we're all over the place. What are we doing? How, how are FaZe going to win this? All right, I gotta go back. Okay, okay. How how we how did we lose this? I I think like if you have a trophy, either he's got to be further up. I know he backs up here and gets away. Either he's got to reach out this and try to get to here, or if he's gonna back up, just go to the point here, and then whoever number four is in Dashy can watch this cross. Because he's not doing anything here. And then Dashy's just kind of watching the same thing as him. Look, Dashy's watching the same thing here. He's watching this. So he, he would watch this cross. Instead, what he could do is back up to the point and someone just watch outer. If you three stack this, you would have one looking this way and then another one looking this way. And the round's done. Because even with them both watching angles here, Pred still gets a kill, right? Look, or Pred dies here from Cell. Nobody could see this. So... You see where Cell is? He's looking at Pred this way. You either have to get to here if you're Shotzi after you back down and reach out this, or go to the point and just allow Dashy to watch this cross. And nobody peeked this because nobody could see this. This is the key kill here is, is, is Cell. Is Cell on a Pred because this keeps one off of it. And now he backs up and he's on it, but now his teammates are dead. Okay, then we call this in, but we call this in and two of our teammates die. So so the problem here is, right, as soon as he calls this in, two kills come in. So you can't make a play off this, right? One dead here, one dead here. He's calling this in spawn here. What you would like to do probably is to, like, get somebody on this or to, like, hunt down Adraza. But instead what happens is they both die as soon as he calls this in. You want your teammates to be alive so they, they can either hunt these players down or get on the point. This is a little bit just unlucky in the sense of you want a couple of fights, they get traded out, and then you're in your you're in your cruise. So what happens off the cruise is pretty much nothing. Because, right, realistically, if you have one more player alive, maybe he could flank this guy or you're sitting on A. Or if you have, like, one more player alive around here, he could jump down here and challenge this guy and give you numbers again. But instead, that doesn't happen. You pretty much would have to isolate Draws. But look, now Draws is just chilling. And I think, man, and it looks like they're worried about the repinch here. Look, you have two players here. You're worried about a repinch. Like, just him getting that one kill draws, like, just stalls them so much. They both get off of this to hunt down draws. And instead, they get caught. That's crazy play by Draza. That's such a good play by Draz. That's such a good play. He ends up underground, wraps all the way back, jumps up, and just watches the cross to A. Wow. That's such a good play by Draz. That's such a good play. They could both jump there. They, they might be able to just... They could just hold blue from the point. And, and to what you're talking about, Lucky, in worst case scenario, what that does, if they both get on the point there, at least maybe forces FaZe to move and move to the point. Maybe it's easy trades. Then they have a three or two, two or three lives remaining. They, they may win the round. But I think that mainly comes down to that A play. The Cruz is a little unlucky with the timing. I just think it's the A play. Shotzi and Dashi just watching the same thing, and then Cell got a kill somehow. So. Alright, so Sim's just delaying here. Sim knows that everybody's pushing B Street for Optic. I'm just trying to pause the clock. Like, maybe I could work a tick. But really, it's just get the attention over towards A. So maybe my teammates can get out of their base.
Phasing here for the triple stack again. Took a little bit. Simply just worried about B Street, but go for the triple stack. Then this is when they lost it last time. This is when Optic really bounced back, and they're doing it again. Yeah, I guess the problem with triple stacking this is, again, if you have nobody propane, you just get kind of destroyed in this area. Which then, when you go three dead, you're just stuck in your base. All good play by Pred. He's just throwing nades, buying time. More than enough. But yeah, it's almost deja vu. They get B phase and then they just can't get any any. They just lose all map control. Just a good job by Optic on their D's. Yeah, Pred up top. What does this turn into? He's got a five spray. Maybe you get a cruise here. Get a cruise, so that's worth. With a one life advantage and a little bit of time ticked off the clock, Atlanta's trying to hopefully counter in their minds to get kind of stuck to though. Yeah, they just want to take away map control. They want to try to put out the still finding kills and forcing Optic to kind of keep their focus at multiple points. All right, chance here for Optic. They just want ticks. They need to get B. But Cell really cannot shell, which is 8 HP. 10 seconds on the clock. It's going to have to be Kenny to jump into the zone. Everyone else supporting him from a pretty much long range. And they're finding good support at this moment. First, they only have one on it. That's a good read. Okay, that's like four dead. That was a really good job by Shotzi and Pred. They're on eight in a row. Yeah, two trophies on it. Pred's pushed up on another spree. He already has a cruise, though. Do you get a second cruise? Another one? Another one? Again, Draza makes plays because while Shotzi's pushing up this way, like Draza's holding A. Like they, they could have got onto the point maybe. All right, Team Nade, you got two cruises. I assume we're just saving this for defense. Draza's got one now, maybe. Maybe. Maybe, just maybe. All right, I mean, phase have gotten beat pretty well. It's been after that. So this time, they're trying to put maybe just some early pressure towards A. And it's working. You get a trophy down. I don't know if I like that play from Draz. It's the similar, like, either just get this tick or just wait. I, I don't know. It's like, why just leave one on A? But maybe you're just trying to force a cruise out, but it's a good break. Then you just transition to B. All right, Shotzi's all the way pushed up again. So two for two. Yeah, he just sneaks up. That's a great play by Shotzi. Abizi's just waiting for his teammates here. You're hoping Abizi could find one here? Okay, he doesn't. So you're up in lives. You have two crews. You have full map control at this moment. You're telling me we're losing this. Good pinch. Okay. It would have been great if we got a kill, but it happens. We get two kills near B. They've stacked this before. It's not a stack yet. That is a hard angle to watch. It's good patience. Dude, FaZe are so good at just like... Catching you as you're trying to defend B. Oh, 
But if Easy does drop, down to 20 seconds on the clock. Draza and Cell, one of the last two left that could possibly make some motion happen. And actually, Simp is going to sneak on towards A to stop the clock there instead, hoping that maybe Cellium can isolate this 1v1 and then try to finish the progress over towards B, which he gets the isolation he wants, but the gunfight isn't clean. Has to reset. Pred on the chase finds the kill. But progress from Sip is still going... Don't you have the other one? You could call this in here. Pred has it. Oh, I thought they could call it right there. We're doing this now, and then he draws this in your base? Oh, thank God Kenny gets the kill. They all just wait, though. Oh my god, but it's still four lives, another four lives. They're just, they've just been bleeding them out. Okay, now you have a 4v6. Look how much time is left though. They, this is so rare. There's still a minute left. This is so rare. Like, FaZe don't have to do anything. You have two ticks done today, and, you, and it's so rare. Can you catch this Atlanta offense a bit by surprise? Pred seems to say three yes, three. What a white up he's had in these last two rounds. Pistol near just comes down to when does he want to pop up? It's him versus the world in this one v three. First one tally cleanly pistol out. Wants a BZ at range. Slips around, but they're on the zone. Both players are there. Shotzi. Guys, a kangaroo. Also doesn't have a lot of ammunition. Needs to clear off the zone. He gets on for the contest. Guys, a kangaroo. I cannot believe FaZe won this. All right, let's go back. I, I think the biggest play here is before they get B. So Pred wins that one versus one at Cell. All right, so let's look at this. You have Draza coming for a trade. Simp's getting hunted. He's been just keeping this pause. Then two off spawn. All right, so you then... I guess you can't call this in because he would get this done with. So you have to chow it if you're Pred. Where's that teammate at? From Kenny on the shot at here. That could be tough because if Shotzi's alive, he might get an angle this way from the stairs. I don't know. It may not matter. It would have been close. He might have got, the, he might have got, may have gotten there in time. I just can't believe how much time was left. Calling this cruise, that's when draws the pinches. Yeah, you just rarely see that, but FaZe do a really good job at B. Okay, next hard point. It's probably two high rises that Optic feel they should have won. What do you got? Rio hard point, which I believe FaZe is undefeated on. I guess the question is, is like, how do you get Rio? So they veto, so you don't play Karachi. So Karachi is the key here. So they've been Vista, sub base, which is going to be a, I guess like it's either Karachi or Rio and what at the major, I think it's face beat optic twice on Karachi. So they go with Rio. So if this, how this plays out, I mean, optic probably want to play the new maps, at least for now. But the fact that they give up Vista, just maybe depending on practice, maybe the fact that phase have played it either. They're going to, if they want to beat phase, they're going to have to either play the new maps or they're going to have to play either a Rio or a Karachi, no matter what, because that's what phase is going to pick. So great start here for phase. Yeah, good start. You got a BZ watching the flank. Sim can watch the full push through. Draws is on five. Doesn't get six. But this is what you want if you're phase. The new hill's about to pop. And your only player past mid map right now is Shotzi. Nobody on the hill, though, so that doesn't help you. Okay, it's a good job by Optic. I'll spawn. This hill isn't easy. All right, you just wait for seven here. Wait for Simp. Yeah, just wait for Simp. Okay. That This is what you want if you're phased. You, you want someone in this area because they spawn all the way back here. How does Simp spawn there? I guess maybe due to them pushed up a little bit, but man, that's a little bit unlucky. So Atlanta phase able to walk away with this final 30. They're also able to flip the spawns over towards P3. And now Optic Texas have a lot of ground to make up. All right, P2 to P3 transition is really good for phase. We'll make sure there's no long routes taken here in the bottom. Abizi will just throw shoulders over this corner. All right, all P3 is. P3 can be a money hill, but this is the problem right now. You have to figure out where the push is coming from if you are phase. It's all an info play. And they, they, they know where the info is. He gets scary when you don't have the info. But now you want someone pushed up. 
so you can see where the push is coming from right because there's one two three four areas it's come through like it could just get a little messy lose a couple of gunfights and then the hill's broken give up the last 20. These are big stuns. They know where Pred's at. Wait for boxes. Yep. Yes. As soon as you get boxes control, you just watch that cross. Good trades by Opti. I don't know if Cell had to move there. That works. Yeah, once you get somebody boxes just watching this, this makes this so so hard to break. Draws is just worried about the pinch though. You got Cell looking over. Now Draws is gonna come help. Watch this crossfire. When he just rotates to the hill. That's just good two, three, four out of phase. Big kills there for Optic. That's just his hill's about to pop. Gives you room to work with. Oh, plus, Fred sneaks on through. I don't know if that's going to end up being a good thing or a bad thing. Okay, I guess a good. <laughs> it's two kills. Okay, good and bad, I guess. It's like the same thing kind of happened, but you, now you have numbers for Opti, so it works out. 2v2, though, on the hill. Yeah, Shotzi top middle rotating for new. One of phase could go all the way around if they want, but it looks like they're just going to try to trade this out. Somebody from phase could take this route, right, and then try to try to get spawns for P2. But they're just going to try to bully their way up there. And that's two fives. Doesn't get a six. All right. Looks like a BZ's going to take a route for P2. The rest are going to go through mid and uh, out here towards bridge. And, and that's just perfect timing. Look, because look at number three. He, he rotates back. Pred's watching this. And now look at number six sneaks on through. And those players spawn out. Like the timing of that is just so good. But Shotzi spawns up. They don't realize it. Oh, that works out so well for Optic. Okay, now the map's all over the place. All right, let's rewatch that because this could have been a crazy little sweet sequence here. Here, a transition from one to two. All right, watch. So you start getting these gunfights this way, you start winning these, and then look at number three. Pred's watching this; he immediately gives this up. Then look, a BZ sneaks on through. A BZ thinks though that he blocks this with his spot. Him and number five block this. He doesn't see Shotzi. So the Shotzi gets a free pinch. He's also blocking the back of Shotzi. So this works for, for Optic for now. But it's kind of just this back and forth sequence. But it could have been really good for FaZe if they know Shotzi's there. And now Optic just, I mean, yeah. That's a good rebound. And, and now this kind of gives you, this is what you want. You want somebody here. It, it just spawns these players out either over towards P3 or all the way towards the back. Like, this is how you get time here at P2. Okay, so that is super unlucky, by the way. And in my mind, absolute horseshit. I'll be honest. I don't know what's going to happen after this. These please, these three players right here that just died. This is why this game is difficult at times. Because the way that this should work, and the way that CODs, good CODs in the past do work, what the game is always trying to do, it, it, there's a number of things. Number one, it wants to spawn you closest to the objective no matter the time. Number two, depending on where your, your enemy and slash teammates positions are, that's where it's going to spawn you, right? So realistically, the good spawn here is back here. These three deaths, sh they should all spawn here for phase just due to this play. That doesn't happen. 
it should it doesn't it's sort of this like somehow they spawn on simp it's like this squad spawn slash normal spawn sometimes and i don't get it i don't know if anyone does but yeah see one player spawns out that's what should happen to all three of those doesn't make any sense why does one spawn here and two spawn here i don't, I don't know but it's what it is it, it doesn't make sense see look now look, all the phases are spawning here like they do a good job of dealing with that but it's probably not as clean as they want it could have been a lot cleaner but they recover does does optic Okay, so this is what makes this hill difficult. When you don't have anyone up here top mid to either just figure out where the push is coming from. Because if you have someone up here, and again, this is probably due to those spawns and how crazy it got. If you have somebody up here or somebody bridge, they can see where the push is coming from this side or top middle. But again, you don't know that Abizi's here. So realistically, what do you have? You have three optic members that have to watch one, two, three four things that's just not what you want if someone's pushed out here one person's cutting off this side and everybody else can kind of stack until they get the info now say this guy up top mid like is like all right there's three this way what then ends up happening is like two and three here like Shotzi and Pred like let's just say Kenny's top middle Dashi's on the hill then they can all focus this one way this is when this gets really tough because you all now have individual gunfights which is what you don't want well this isn't even individual realistically you have a two on one here for pred right he's got two players in front of his screen what could happen is if pred calls out multiple this way ken might turn around and gets horrible timing we'll see what happens but this is why you want to buy space when you can in hardpoint okay so they get those two kills if if simp and cell end up getting kills here what ends up happening is number one turns and then Pretty much, Abizi gets a free pinch, but that doesn't. So it's just, they win their fights. See, Ken's got no idea he's there. Now, see, you, you have number two pushed out. Because Shotzi gets this kill here, they know this whole street is open. Look, three people can now look at Abizi. Again, this time over towards P4. Two to three is good. Can three to four also be collected? Oh, All that stun. You don't get a cruise. Clean shots coming out plus the stun. Lock shots in place. Dashy still a little bit of a scuffle with selling him over the last three seconds, which he wins. But Atlanta will get onto the hard point initially. Spawn out for selling him deep over towards the backside at P2. Here come off the All right, Pred's pinching this, though. And an opportunity to try to break this hard point over, but the kills are simply put are not there. Kenny has to keep his head in a swivel, just trying to predict what the angle Sip's going to tell him on. Face deal with that. It got a little crazy because you had a couple of optic players pushed up here and like i i don't know who to is that just sim making a crazy play oh i gotta rewatch that because you get one kill here look what this does this spawns number eight all the way out far as fuck for phase so you have a two on four right now on the hill you have a two on four pred gets a kill so he's playing his life which this isn't necessarily the wrong play he could basically cut them off he's basically saying hey guys i'm giving you this two on three like that's that's what pred's saying right here I'm giving you a two on three. It's not the wrong play. And then now he turns because Abizi gets one. Abizi gets two. I mean, that's just simple Abizi clutching up. Dude, because look at this. If, if he just stays, he at least gets one here. And it's just such a tough call. He's just hoping his teammates get those kills. That's just simple Abizi just winning gunfights. And now look where they spawn because of it. And a chance to regrow their lead. And this is where, if you're a Shotzi, you are on a five spree. Can I a one on one between him and Draza? You're going to potentially earn a cruise missile to find a break on towards P4. But now Atlanta face are not slowing down. They are trading efficiently over towards the white van. But it's Optic Texas currently. It's good job by FaZe. The They're able to find a break, but with only 20 seconds left. Looks like we're going to have another photo finish of a hard point between these two teams. And Atlanta are still they're gonna have to commit to try to play off this old time here with these two members that are standing. Draza doing what he can, but he gets taken down. No worries. Cell on rotation. Able to win a key versus pistol. Okay, that's info. Time middle from cell. Easy. Mid -map. 
hasn't had a particularly great game to this point in the kill feed, but this could be a big one and okay. That's a little bit of extra clearance. Yeah, you're buying time. Past the 200 point mark. And they can win it here at the Bridge Hill, but you're not expecting them to walk away with a full 50 seconds on this still. So if you're all after text, you just have to find a way on it. Match your tax off the spawn, blow up those trophy systems, and try to take somewhat control of the bridge. How the f*** is Kenny a three? A BZ last player up simply has to play his life to give his team another opportunity to find a break. Optic on the chase, it's Pred. Right back through mid, collects the kill. It's a huge staggered respawn as well. Optic could surely get past the 200 point mark. Kenny just trying to hold on to this pillar for dear life. Dashy Pred helping over the top of this hard point. And a chance not just for Optic to take the lead. They could also win this rotation. BZ trying to meet them right uh -oh. on the top of the just has a little bit of an awkward mantle over the bench. I mean, Kenny and Dashy have just gone massive here. They break P5, they win rotation out of P1. They're going to be fully set up as well. Another five spree. 213, 213. Okay, you got a long route coming out of Simp and a BZ. A BZ just in a row, but here comes the pitch from Sim. Always somehow, some way finds the timing, finds three in a row. Atlanta phase get the break. They've got the number of cells watching. To I mean, okay, insane play, but this doesn't happen again unless you time this well with a BZ, which he does, right? So you get the one kill with a BZ right there. Okay, that forces Pred to rotate over. He gets this kill because what this does is this delays number four. Watch Dashy right here. Dashy's trying to help with a BZ. Where if Dashy doesn't have to deal with a BZ here, he's like here and might see this. Instead, he doesn't. So then you get this pinch. But then he just hits insane shots. But still. Like that one kill from a BZ just opens this up. That's my held average teammate right there. All right, so now if you're Optic, it's either do you break this or do you rotate? It's always a tough call. 30 seconds, you probably try to break one more time. Do you break this or do you rotate? It's always a tough call. 30 seconds, you probably try to break one more time. Shotzi gets all the way through. Now they have to focus on him on rota rotation. Six, a BZ spawns all the way out. That's just comms. That's just comms right there. Because listen, you get... Shotzi gets a kill on to a BZ, right? So he's just saying, all right, Shotzi killed me. We kill... Well, FaZe kills Kenny. FaZe kills Pred. The comms right now from FaZe are where where we need a BZ. Or we need we need Shotzi, right? A BZ saying, Shotzi killed me, Shotzi killed me. Look at all three of these arrows. One arrow's looking this way, two arrows looking this way. It, it draws is looking this way. That's all it is. I mean, Cell gets two big kills here on rotation, which is huge, but that's all comms. That's just literally Shotzi's here. Now you get Simp pushed out. You get a BZ cut the middle of the map. Wait, what? What is that spawn? Wait, I gotta look at that again. I mean, it doesn't matter. I mean, nice comeback there from Optic on that map. How did this happen though? Where where, where this gets weird? I guess you don't have anybody in the back back here. Like maybe you want someone here. Well, why does eight spawn there? That's the problem. Celium spawns out. Which I don't know why. So Cell dies. Top what? Celium should not spawn out here. What? Some should spawn back here. Either way, they handle it. Because then what happens from there? He just spawns. He's calling out spawn behind him. It could have been really bad for FaZe. Could have been really bad. It's unlucky too because number one, Kenny, I don't, this is unreadable. There's no way Kenny reads this. I mean, maybe with his teammates spawning behind them because Kenny... Listen, if this spawn doesn't happen, Kenny gets a kill here. But I guess if this spawn doesn't happen, Simp wouldn't be here. Either way, weird, weird scenario. That's this game at times. Sometimes it seems to work really well. I, I will say it seems like the newer maps like Rio, Six Star, and Vista have 
less of weird spawns than some of the the mw2 maps but still happen all right so uh yeah phase beat him again all right